Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Billy. We're Hockey Dad. These are records in my life. And you're watching northerntransmissions.com. Record you bought before oh, you were ever okay. buying. Okay. Both you'll, you'll, you'll both do one. I don't remember now. Okay. First. Right, I got mine. Um, the first actual record, like 12 inch vinyl, that I bought was a local band called Mother and Son. I was going to say that as well. We both bought it at the same time, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. No, you didn't buy it when I bought it. Oh, no. <laughs> You're wrong. Oh, yeah. That was, was my you. first record. Don't steal my record. But I, I did buy that as well. I did buy it. That was. I'm pretty sure I bought it on the night. Nah. You didn't. When did I buy it then? I don't know. I'm telling <laughs> you, I bought it on the night. I swear I did. Because we watched them. Yeah. That was the first record I. vinyl record I bought with my own money, and I was like, I want to buy that. that yeah. That record, that's what I want to buy. That was, that was my first my one. my first one as well. Well, there you go. I swear it was the same night. Maybe. I can't even, like, that was literally the first one. Fuck, that was a hazy night, wasn't it? I can't even remember now. No, it was definitely that. Alright, okay. Fair enough. What are you fucking about? <laughs> this is bullshit. It's good though. That band is rooted on that. They bonded. That's it. That, yeah. that band Fuck. actually made us start this band. There was nothing else except that band that night. Yeah, that was... Because yeah. that was when we were like, okay, we want to be in a two-piece and do that. Exactly. Yeah. And then we tried, and we didn't get there, but we got this. So yeah, we right. didn't get that. We didn't get that good that we did this. That's it. So yeah, that's that's, it. yeah. that's awesome. That's a great yeah. way. That's a true <laughs> band yeah. bonding. Yeah. It doesn't get much more. Someone stole someone's copy. Yeah. One of them yeah. or two of them might have, but it's great. One of them's done it. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, what might be the album that you first listened to when you went, I want to do music. I want to be a musician. Can I bump can in on first. this one? You go first, okay. I reckon the first album together was Arctic Monkeys' debut. Because that was, I was we were pretty young when that came out. Yeah, I would say maybe not the debut. I would say the Favourite Worst Nightmare or Humbug, the, the first two. Because then we mm. were about, I was about 15 or 14 or 15 when they were out and when I yeah. figured them out. And that was when yeah. we, we started playing in bands and started like sort of covering all those songs. Yeah. And they, they definitely made me want to do that forever I yeah. think pretty much yeah our two monkeys are massive they were massive for us really yeah that was a big influence Back so when which album is it that, that you guys okay. I don't know you gotta, you gotta pick the uh, I gotta go favourite worst nightmare Arctic monkeys was the first one yeah that was why I still me. remember us listening to um debut with like Aww. early like yeah, but oh, my sister that showed us. That wasn't, that wasn't like, the one. What? That, that wasn't the one. Not the one. Yeah. That wasn't the one. It's not. Probably the one. For it was me, a timing but... issue. I was too young for that. I wasn't ready to click. To click. Yeah. True. We're talking about clicking, aren't we? We're all clicking here. All right, we'll go with that then. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. So which, so which album are you going with? For the... uh, no, our Dead Monkeys' favorite worst nightmare. Favorite worst nightmare. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I was gonna say, I'll say that uh, the Murlocs' Young Blindness. Mm. That's what I'm really into right now. They're an Australian band. Cracking record. Um, just a solid record. I don't know. Their first, re the last record, Blue Pulse, was good, and they've stepped it up again. And it's just a solid blues sort of psych rock record, but yeah. it's got real pop sort of songwriting sensibilities about it, which I like. The vocals are insane. And the vocals well. are really That's, nice. Yeah, it's crazy. Good tones, raw tones, but are still really nice. Yeah, all we got over the record, record over here. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. The Let's say you sound like a Burner Records type of. Uh, there are. I don't know if they're so on a record label over here. Actually, I'm pretty sure, but they're on King Gizzard's distro. Yeah, so, so King. They it's, might. A, it's about half the guys from King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, that band. Yeah, so, so it's like a. People the same sort of thing. Similar. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. That's it. So maybe I'm sure you could probably catch it over sure here. You could. Yeah. I don't know what their go is, but. <laughs> Um, one for me, massively, was the uh, Parkway Drive debut. 
killing with a smile. That was insane. It's a bit out of the ballpark of what we actually play, but still, that I think that blew up the whole South Coast, like where we live, as in like the whole surf and skating scene. Like that album was insane. It was so sick, but. You never, like, you get into I it. I can but, do it. I can yeah. do it. But I don't, you know, I'm not... Avid. I'll speak on behalf of Steve-O, but yeah. I reckon that, that album's a cracker. I'll play one that my dad used to play in his car and at home a lot. It was uh, Paul Kelly, Wanted Man. Mm. That was nice. a really good one. That was... I always liked Paul Kelly. Yeah. Because both my mum and dad liked Paul Kelly, which is rare that they both liked the band together. True. And they liked that, yeah. so it could get played a lot. Mm. And, yeah, I always thought it was... He said he had good songs. He catchy. does. Yeah. And that one what was, a bloke. That was a good one for me when I was growing up. Yeah. What was the album called again? Wanted Man. When did that come out? Oh, ni- 90... Maybe 95? 94? It's been going for a long time. Yeah. I can't remember exactly. It could be a little late. Maybe 97 or something. Yeah. I don't know. in the 80s and stuff, wasn't it? Am I wrong? Yeah. He was... Yeah, he would have been still yeah. going in the 80s, late 80s. Early 90s was when he, he had was, so many things. He's got though. a lot of records yeah. out there. Yeah, he was he's, doing a lot. He's like a troubadour because he's toured North America. He has a legion of fans. Yeah. Like in North America as well. Like he plays, you know, not huge rooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. mean, I think he would come here and probably play there. Probably get 250 or 300 people would go see him here. Yeah. So just, I would imagine. Why not, right? Full on, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's crazy. That's yeah. good, though. He's got a good following. Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah. Great I'll say, um... Four. Alright. Um, Sparkadia, if you want to drop that, because that is pretty huge. Good one. Postcards. That is a... I think that was when we were in another band when it came out, like our earlier band. But that kind of just spun out a real different way that we started writing, I think. It was just like a... It was such a well-produced record, which made us think, like, shit, you can do a lot with sounds and stuff. Like, it wasn't so straightforward, I think. What happened, the lead singer, he sort of... The rest of the band sort of left, and he kept going. He did one more record, and it was all right. And I think he's... The name's still going. He hasn't done anything since then. Yeah. That that last record was, like, 2011 or 10 or something. Yeah. Like, the next album was good, but... First album was better. Yeah, first album was better. (laughs) Yeah. That's it. If you like what you saw, check out more episodes and subscribe.